two at Newcastle. Morfordville goes to Sky Racing two as we concentrate on Ramwick. comes the 2023 Kosciuszko Country Train Sprinters only. $2 million in prize money over the 1,200 metres. Brad, a race first contested in 2018 when won by a $71 chance on a heavy nine-track bell flyer. It's come a long way since. It definitely has, Mark. It's one of my favourite races of the year because you get tempo, you can poke the holes in quite a few of them and uh, generally the class sort of comes to the top. It's a good field this year and you're tipping already a dual stakes winner in Opal Ridge. is unbeaten fresh first up last prep Preparation won the listed Derby Munro at Rose Hill. Yeah, and I think this is perfect for her, right? 1200 Ram Week, firm track. Here she is. Just look at this turn of foot she's got. And she can settle closer than she settled this day as well. And I just think she's very classy for this race. I know they had the concussion plates on the front during the week, which is some uh, little concern there. But look, I just think it sets up beautifully. There's going to be plenty of pressure. She can smoke the pipe midfield with J Mac aboard and just go crunch. Far too easy. Ran second in this to front page last year. And he's won both his Queensland trials as he resumes. Yeah, he was great, wasn't he? Um, he was great in the Ramon as well against the pattern where it was a sort of fence up and in day. He was terrific out wide, run of the race, no doubt. It looks to have come back well from the trials. Derry Grove's been winning like uh, like winks in, in highways of late. Obviously, this is much stronger, but the way he travels is like a good horse. And front page, of course, won this race last year. Can he go back to back? Didn't like his trial this time in. Gaty, you're with Opal Ridge as well. Yeah, I loved her trial. Uh, obviously, I'm beaten fresh, and that was a brilliant win, wasn't it? Fresh last time. I'm looking at her magic time and parasail form, and gee, it's elite uh, for this class. Far too easy, resumes wide with 60 kilos and a terrific win. First up last time in. Won three or four fresh and a second, a Prince of Boom in a group two. Very likeable. Front page, we know his best is good enough. Seven kilos he's got on Nemeth from the, the Wagga run, and probably should have beaten him. And Derry Grove, he's absolutely airborne. Always a good race. This is probably the best rendition. No, 73112 me. Late in the trade with bookies. Opal Ridge is 270 out to $3. Front page, 550 to 6 back to 550. Best back to roll both. Far too easy. 8850 into $6.50. It's one of nine tackling the race in the field of 14. First up, Brad. Yeah, and uh, just reading a few of the, the yard reports around, uh, all saying they look great, which you would expect, wouldn't you, for the uh, the $2 million prize money. They'll be 100% uh, ready to go here. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a fascinating race. I, I really enjoy this because... It's you know it's for the country horses and the and the connections. It's obviously got the uh, uh, you know the picking the horses and one thing I love about it is they just go hard. So you get your chance and you know a lot of races in Sydney they sit up and and, and take take stock where this one they'll roll and um, it's always good to watch the last 200. Other inward moves with bookmakers: Derry Grove 750 into seven and there's money for Cavalier Charles for Huey Bowman, Matt Dale 41 into 26 dollars. Yeah, well he'll be hoping for that hot tempo because he can be strong late and he can sustain a run this horse. So. Look, I think a few more classy, but um, if they're specking him, I'm respecting it. So this is the sixth running of the Kosciuszko. Won last year by front page, beating far too easy. Fender ran third. Art Cadeau won it the year before from Handle, The Truth and Spiranak. It's worth $2 million. The country stars in town. Here's Darren. With the sheepskin brow band on and the move them in pretty well. Cavalier Charles will be one of the last to go forward. Cavalier Charles drawn uh, very wide out. Moving forward, so Opal Ridge, the glamour mare from Skona, is this year's favourite. There's the light. Ready to go. They're off in the Kosciuszko and front page jump very sharply set a gate. Looks like he's going to lead. Nemeth handled the start well, bouncing to second, followed by Kimberly Secret going to third. Now Mogo Magic's up on the outside of Broken Hill. Further back to Derry Grove is really firing up badly and Opal Ridge improves along the rails. About midfield now is Opal Ridge. They're followed further back then to Derry Grove. Uh, Bianco Volano, Cavalier Charles and a wide par from Sizzle. Manizel. Far too easy as well. Back together with I've Been Trainer. And last of all is Howard Last Cash. Last year's winner, front page, pilots the field at the 600 metres from Kimberley Secret, followed by Nemeth. Mogo Magic, well positioned. And a few lengths further back to Opal Ridge going into fifth. Into the straight now. And front page in front from Kimberley Secret. Now Opal Ridge is falling away. She's trying to get into the race, but front page is giving a tremendous kick. Front page got five lengths 
things clear. Opal Ridge, it's a bridge too far by the looks of it. Then far too easy and front page, Tyler Schiller go back to back in the Kosciuszko. Opal Ridge second, far too easy third, then Cavalier Charles. Further back then to I've been trying our last cash late from Kimberley Secrets, Derry Grove, Akasawa, then Sizzle Manizzle, Mogo Magic, Nemeth, Bianco Volano, Broken Hill. This is a very special moment for Tyler Schiller. He's now equal first in the Sydney Riders Premiership. And claims the Kosciuszko for Matt Dale after winning it last year for Jeff Jurea, who's now retired. Seventh career win at start number 20. Prize money to around $2.5 million. And on his day, he is a wonderful sprinter. He's a ripper, isn't he? Have a look at that sustained speed from start to finish. He is just so good first up. And what a performance. You'll struggle to see a better win than that. Opal Reed, she got back midfield. She rattled home, but was just beaten by an elite win. Uh, far too easy was terrific too, but gee, that was some win. So Gator, he's won seven times now and five of those seven wins, first run back. Yeah, look, he's just brilliant. On his day, he runs time from the front with pressure and he ran well in a new market. So um, an, ex an outstanding win, that. Matt Dale claims his first Kosciuszko, Tyler Schiller his second, and he gets a double on Tab Everest Day through the first five, with five races to come from Royal Randwick this afternoon. The Sydney Stakes over the Everest track, track and trip is up next at Group 3, Wait for Age. Fourth event from Hamilton, Dirty Angel as the favourite here as a Mark Hunter special from Radio this morning. 3.30 this morning. Late 3.10 is back out to $3.30. Away from it, there's Fear Gal, best back to beat at $11 into $6.50. Eagle Farm is also looming. In fact, Hamilton goes to Sky Racing 2. So we're going to concentrate, Gator, on the fifth event from Eagle Farm, a Class 3 over the 1,300 metres. April in Augusta, third pick at $7, your top pick, going really well at the moment. Yeah, she is. Uh, she looks. She originally uh, drew awkwardly, and uh, look, that's still the case. But she's certainly come in with a couple with the scratchings and uh, Eagle Farm. I'm less worried about wide gates around the sprint starts. She won here in a 68, straight to a 65, one again, uh, coming from off midfield. And the Toowoomba run uh, uh, was uh, really good. I think getting to 1300 and back to a class three might be the right recipe. It just needs a touch of luck. Sure, uh, here on the map. So here I had as a danger, also drawn out. Her first up run was, uh, was very good. He is, he, I love the way he found the line. Jimmy's Dreams going well. I think 1300 is a big tick for him, third up as well. And the other one's Micro, who draws better than a lot of key rivals. 10, 9, 2, and